lots of patients who've got hypothyroidism need uh, the drug called thyroxine. Most people are given that drug and uh, for most people it works uh, and it stops all their symptoms. But just for a minority of patients, uh, it doesn't work. And, um, and it's found that some of those patients do benefit from lyothyronine, which is commonly known as T3, as a short version. Um, <clears throat> and uh, for some people it can be an absolute life changer and people will feel they've got their life back. We found out about Healthwatch and we went to the AGM uh, and approached them then uh, as to whether they might be able to help our group, um, some of whom can't access this drug. We've been forced to self-source it if we can afford it. Um, and so since then Healthwatch have supported us hugely in um, finding ways to approach the CCG and giving us confidence to approach them. Um, helping us um, understand how the, the, the Norfolk CCGs work, how the committees work, uh, to an extent anyway. Um, and we've pursued, we've pursued this situation as much as we can, um, but we couldn't have done it without Healthwatch support. It's been absolutely invaluable. North Norfolk Primary Care and all the practices involved are really passionate about making sure that patient voice is heard and that any of the services that we design and deliver actually do meet the patient need of our particular demographic. So what we asked uh, Healthwatch to commission was um, a piece of work that was partly paper-based, so there was um, a questionnaire that went out to local residents, um, but it, we wanted it to be all encompassing. We wanted to make sure that lots of different people were able to put their views forward. So what um, Healthwatch actually designed for us, which was brilliant, was not just a questionnaire, but also uh, an online version. There was um, an event where patients came in person, there was an online event, and they also reached out to some groups of people, for example, people with dementia, the deaf community, young people, people that perhaps might not have accessed the survey in other ways. So it gave us a really fantastic sort of all reaching look at what patient engagement we could do and what the local patients really felt would be beneficial to them. So um, for patients, I think it meant that we were able to design an improved access um, offering that genuinely met with their needs. Um, so for example, in the survey, it turned out that actually people weren't as worried about getting to see a doctor on a Sunday as they were perhaps on a Saturday um, and uh, that actually they were willing to travel further than we perhaps would have assumed to see a GP, which was really helpful when we were then designing what the improved access model would look like. Um, and for us as surgeries, it was really insightful because patient feedback is absolutely essential to running your surgery to make sure that what you're offering to patients is what they really need. Um, so for us, what it's meant is that our patients now have access to evening and weekend appointments um, at a place that is practical. That means that not all 19 practices have to open seven days a week, eight to eight, which would be very difficult in terms of staffing. Um, so it's given a really pragmatic answer, but genuinely taking into account the views of the patients. Uh, so part of this project and part of the background um, was a very quick realisation that a lot of our written material, a lot of our communication material um, was very out of date. Um, it was very old fashioned, um, it was quite legalese, it was very confusing and it just wasn't clear. It wasn't written in plain English and it wasn't clear to anybody who was reading it what we were trying to say. Um, so the, the groundworks for this project with Healthwatch was writ itself really, it was really kind of clear and obvious what we needed to do. 
Um, so we did it in two stages. We did the focus group with the group of volunteers, the really helpful, great group of volunteers. Um, and then we went through our written materials. Completely. Well, the benefit for us is that actually even for our admin staff, they now are much more able to understand what letters they are sending out and what the meaning of them is. It is a complicated process. And being on the front line, um, the, we always have lots of phone calls from people who have received letters saying, I've received a letter, I don't understand what it says. And to be honest, I'm not surprised they didn't understand what it says. Um, the legalese was really heavy. Um, and having simplified that and put into a language that was very open and um, easier for them to understand, we never get those phone calls anymore, we don't get those complaints, it's very simple, so when the service user actually contacts us now, it's with a genuine point to the process that we can help them and they have a better understanding, um, so from that perspective it's been absolutely phenomenal and the work that we've done means that every letter that we have to rewrite now or you know goes through a strict audit process so that has um, had long-lasting impact not just um, uh, a short-term impact that that's going to be felt within our organization for a long time I had to put in a complaint to the um, hospital. Um, it was a large complaint and I spoke to a friend and said, you know, I don't think I'm going to get anywhere with this complaint. And she said, well, contact Healthwatch Norfolk. And that was my first contact was, was with Alex and Judith. I felt very strong and that I knew I'd got somebody supporting me right beside me and I didn't want to I didn't want to appear like I'm going to lean on somebody else to do this as long as I knew somebody was beside me and could jump in if I got it muddled up which I didn't and they did listen to me and I think having Health Watch there beside me supporting me I think made a difference all I wanted was improvement in the services, in patient care. I didn't want and still don't want any compensation. I, I think to do that is wrong. Um, what we do need to do in life is, is improve. I didn't want blame, but I did want improvement. And together, I think that's what we've achieved. <laughs>